here. All right, today we're gonna be trying out a new paint. Uh, this is pre-mixed pouring paints from Hippie Crafter. And uh, the colors are pretty cool. This is the uh, primary and metallic color set. And uh, the colors we'll be using today, I mean, y'all know my, uh, my forte or my protocol, I should say. When I'm trying new paints, I will use a magenta, a blue, a yellow, and a white. And I will do a wandering ring pour and I'll do a flip cup with no silicone to see how the paints react together. And then usually I will do one with silicone as well. But uh, I find that those colors really help to give me the, um, do they blend? Do they stay separated? Do they make mud? Like those, colors together. I mean, those are your primary colors. You can make all of the colors with those colors. Um, there is no magenta in this set, but this is rose and it's, I mean, it's pretty much magenta. So I'll be using that. And the phthalo blue. I, you know, that's just one of my favorite blues. And there is lemon yellow that and the white titanium white uh, this scent does come with a metallic white but um, like most acrylic pouring sets you only get one white and you know the thing is when you're doing acrylic pouring you need contrast and so you need more light colors and I find that uh, th this is kind of a, a typical thing across the board where you wind up not having enough of the white. I'll be able to get two, uh, maybe three eight by tens out of these four bottles and then I'm out of white and then what? So. Um, that is part of my review and it goes out to all of the companies who are making acrylic pour sets. Give us more white, please. Before we get started, have you seen the Fluid Art Inspiration Cards? If you have, you can fast forward about a minute. But if you have not, what we have are 52 cards. There are 42 technique cards. Each technique card has an associated video right here on the YouTube. There is uh, the picture of that particular technique. There is this little box right here that is has a tip in it for that particular technique. There is a color palette. And these two boxes can also be used as the basis of a two color pour. Uh, also, are eight bonus color palette cards. Each color palette card has five color palettes. You can use all of the colors or just use some of the colors. And of course, you can use these for more than just acrylic pouring. If you do alcohol, ink, or beadwork, or crochet, what have you, decorating your house, here you go. These are available at my website, ginadeluca.com. All right, so first up is the wandering ring pour. And in these kinds of uh, bottles, I find, you know, when it's the premixed pouring paints, I find I wind up with fewer bubbles if I just take the caps off instead of squeezing it through that little hole. Uh, that's just kind of what I found and in a wandering ring pour, you're not really going for cells, right? So you don't really want bubbles, because bubbles will give you cells accidentally or on purpose. 
All right, so I only need about three ounces of paint for this. And I will start with just a touch of the white. I mean a touch, just a touch. And then some blue. Some rose. And again, the white. More this time. Create that separation between those colors. And now the yellow. with the white and then magenta or the rose and then the yellow and again just a dab of white so as you can see with this particular layering technique. I only have two colors touching each other. I'm not doing red, blue, yellow. It's, uh, you know, red and blue, white. Yellow, red, white. So you get each of the colors touching each other so you can see how they blend if they, um, you know, create, like if the magenta and the yellow, well, rose in this case, if the rose and the yellow blend, will they make an orange? Will they stay separate? Will they all just blend together and make mud? Okay, here we go. They're maintaining their color separation really nicely in the cup. So let's see what happens. So far, so good. I'm gonna have to make sure I tilt that off. Kind of botched the uh, dismount there. I've had several cups of coffee today. I was giving a, I do a workshop once a week uh, on crafting better songs. So it's basically like a songwriting workshop via Zoom. And then we had a guest session, and uh, so I was very caffeinated today. <laughs> okay, well, I, I have to say, so far, I mean, even just what I banged out of the cup on the corners there, like, it looks really good. It's kind of thin. It moves very quickly. Let it be this point. Sometimes I just like the way it's setting up better in one direction than another. 
I'm very impressed with the uh, the color separation that is going on. Adjust this composition a bit. I'm going to stretch these out a little bit and see how does it tolerate the stretching. I would say this is a very, very good pouring paint for ring pours. The lines are very um, defined. There's a little bit of the, of the layering going on that gives you that lacy kind of effect. I will be very interested to see how, how that plays out in a flip cup because uh, that sometimes gives me my favorite effect. So we will see. Hopefully I have enough of all of the paints to make that happen. Next up is the flip cup. I'm going to do the same order. If I keep my cups there or my bottles, I'll know the order that I'm working in. I won't forget. So a little bit of the white just enough to cover that bottom. The blue and then the rose. White for separation. Yellow and then blue. White. And then rose, yellow, and white. And this is the end of the bottles. So you can get two 8x10s out of four of these bottles. And then I'm out of white. Dear paint companies, hook a sister up with poor white, please. I like to do an X. just to give that a little bit of mixy yuppiness in there. Alright, it's going to be easiest to do this this way. Alright, let's give this a flip. Here's where the magic happens. I 
mean, even banging it out of the cup, you know, all the primaries, I'm still not getting mud. That would normally cause a great deal of mud. All it's doing is giving me a really cool effect. All right. Uh, you know what? Let me give this torch. I did shake the bottles up because they had been sitting for a bit. Uh, Should have shaken them up earlier. Gave it more time to settle. Naughty. All right. This does move very quickly. I like the way this side is setting up better. I love just that soft, lacy, like layers of chiffon on top of each other. Let's see what happens. This is the Rain-X uh, original water repellent, the original formula glass water repellent. All right, I don't wanna spray this because I wanna control how much is going on. I just put a little squirt in this cup. And all I'm gonna do one drop. See what happens. Sometimes they go crazy. Sometimes it doesn't have much of a reaction. Some pouring mediums will they give you different shapes when you do this. One gives you almost a perfect flower. So, not a tremendous reaction from the rain -X. Little, a little bit, kind of looks like a little snowflakey. We'll see what they do. All right. I'm going to clean up and I'll bring you in for a close-up. Back in a few. Okay. Well, here they are. Look at the crispness of those edges. Look at that. Look at how it's holding that line. That is spectacular. For a straight from the bottle, man. Those lines are tight. Really, really impressive for premixed paints, I would say. And then here is the full lip cup with no silicone. Just that soft kind of layers of chiffon. You can see. The rain -X didn't have much of an effect. Just a little kind of 
a little bit of dendrite action. But yeah, there it is. Uh, I'd have to say that I'm impressed with this line. I, I do like the way that uh, it held up for that ring pour, for sure. I will uh, you use these paints again. I'll do a flip cup with some silicone. Maybe try some other techniques. I don't have any white left, <laughs> so we'll have to get creative. There is a metallic white, so I can probably try to use that. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something. If you did, please do like, share, and subscribe and all that good stuff. Do check out the description box below for links to my Amazon store. If you enter through that link, anything that you purchase off the entire site of Amazon, I receive a small commission at no additional cost to you. Also in the description box, you will find a link to my website, ginadeluca.net, where you can find my art and music and fluid art inspiration cards available for sale. Also, you will find the link to our Facebook group. Go make some art. Join us there. Post your masterpieces. Ask your question. Get some inspiration. All that good stuff. Yeah, I think that's it for today. I hope you all have a beautiful day. Now go make some art.